alternatives, either go to jail or go to the army. But I would like to say that there is another alternative, and that alternative is justice. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Muhammad Ali has just refused to be inducted into the United States Armed Forces. He refused induction on the grounds of his religious convictions on war. My conscience won't let me go shoot my brother or some poor hungry people in the mud for big powerful America and shoot them for what? They never called me nigger. You know, Muhammad Ali is really important in this because when Ali refuses induction, there's a famous column in the New York Times written by Tom Wicker where he just wonders out loud what would happen if you had 100,000 Muhammad Ali's. If you had 100,000 people who were prepared to do what Muhammad Ali just did, you would bring this war to a stop. So the draft resistors set that kind of as a goal. It took an all-white jury less than a half hour to find Muhammad Ali guilty of all charges and specifications. He was sentenced to the maximum five years in prison and was fined $10,000. I find nothing amusing or interesting or tolerable about this man. He's a disgrace to his country, his race, and what he laughingly describes as his profession. He has been found guilty. He is out on bail. He will inevitably go to prison, as well he should. He's a simplistic fool and a pawn. Do you share the same concern uh, that uh, Muhammad has for his draft status? Oh, I certainly do. Uh, my, my views on the draft are very clear. I'm against it. And I think the sooner our country does away with the draft, the better it will be for everybody.